Alright. Which we should be live now. You're watching this on YouTube. Please check to see if you've already subscribed. If not, that would be pretty cool. Um this is the first video you're watching. Be sure to look around. We've got three, four, three. No, four other people on the team stream. Other five of us. Be sure to dig through the videos and check that out. The art from the effect. You can fun stuff their streams um yeah let me get in i was having trouble getting in with the editor like see if i can get our clients in see if that lets me get in Mic going in and out. Um, it may just be I'm not facing it well enough. I need to check the noise gate again. What about now, Vrumbra? Hey, John. Bad Wolf. Dark inside. Quick Sana. Let me see why. Let me see why the game audio is not playing for you guys. Just discovered the YouTube videos about a guy named Javier who claims to be in 2027. I have to look that up. Hey, Chess, hold on. Oh. Let me, let me fix the audio for you guys. Alsterian. Encrypt. What's going on? Oh, that's a nice looking error. Looks like the problem is in Streamlab. There we go. That should be. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so tired. <sighs> Ooh. Kind of crazy, he goes to all these different public places, but nobody is around. Let me, let me go ahead and open that on a separate tab so I don't forget about it. All right, so YouTube. What do I look for? Javier 2027? Javier 2027 explain. Alright. Cool. Oh, got it. What's up, Constanza? Tell it. It's really just clever geography and timing. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes more sense than these than the fact that he's on YouTube, but or TikTok. It says that there are no humans in 2027. Did I ever visit Malin's Starfire back in the day as a GM? My GM name was very familiar to you. Uh, you was a, you were a raid leader on Malin. Azaleel? Um, yeah, I mean, maybe? I don't remember. Um, but you might be thinking, uh, they put in a couple items named after me. Oh, cool. Thank you for the follow. All right. New character. Give me 
use different hair. Brid's math said, new here, just wanted to say you and your team were doing God's work to bring a dying genre back to life. The play test brought me back to my childhood playing EcoA on my PS2 and feeling an overwhelming sense of adventure into the unknown. Thank you for bringing me hope and something to look forward to. Well, thank you very much for that. Ugh. So today was day two for me at the new jujitsu school here in Bremen. I am for as soon as as soon as I'm done with the stream, I'm gonna go straight to bed. I am exhausted. That was a few hours ago, but I'm old. I can't recover. Brid's math. It's cool. It's cool whenever we have EQOA people come in. It's been really neat to see some of the response from EQOA folks. Is that Viz Viz Vix 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 How do I give me the phonetics on your name? Thank you for the follow, but I'm gonna mess your name up until we, until you give me the phonetics. Hey Zukin. Hey Pattis. Vic Ix. Vic Ix. That makes sense. Vic Ix. Hey D loves pudding. Thank you for 13 months, buddy. Uh, EQ EverQuest Online Adventures. So I haven't. I haven't uh, done anything. To the mic. I haven't done anything. I just restarted my machine. Noticed that the um, the input for the background sounds was jacked. So maybe Streamlabs did something weird. Could be I was just too far away. Like I said, I am super, 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 um, super exhausted. <clears throat> What do I want to play? Streamlabs broke your sound settings yesterday too. Let me let me see if they screwed up something on the. Uh, so let me go in and look at the filters and stuff. Noise gate. Hmm. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna yawn the entire time, I apologize. It's not you, it's me. You're not boring me at all, guys. You're gonna have to keep me awake, though. Yeah, hmm. So I lowered the gate threshold a little bit. Honestly, I could probably lower it more. It's not like I have background sound here anymore. All right, let me, let me, let me make a monk. I've never played a monk, I don't think. I don't think I've played our monks. Into the world. 
How was everybody's weekend? Kane doing good. Development was good or is good. Let me let me close Unity in the background. Bogus Meat Factory said. Hey, robot and chat. Hope you're all well. Hey, Norton. Thank you for 10 months. Appreciate that. Yeah, John, that joke here was pretty interesting. Got the pleasure of enjoying the new Zelda, Bogus Meat Factory said. Tight. Um, I, I never finished the first one, but I may get, I may get the new one and just check it out. Let me, let me option. Turn this down a little bit. Glurky said, I got to look around the environment during the open stress test. It was so fun exploring. Glad you had fun. Appreciate that, Kane. So, I guess I can just run the default for now. That'll be fine. What do we have here? I get feigned death. Well, that's cool. Mend. And round kick. Hey, Magnamar. Mm. Nope, already got it. Um, we'll scram that as well. I'm invited to come train with the School of the Fourfold Path. Uh, if you're not afraid to join our order and test your endurance to its limit, you should deliver this note to Chaya Tom, one of the leaders of our school, and begin your training. Bring nothing but the clothes on your back, your bare fist, and this note. We can do that. You tried doing this quest during stress test, but you got wrecked because you're too low level. All right, well, it's going to be interesting then to see. I may, I may have the exact same fate as you.
They told me to fight the peeps around the place and I just got killed. <laughs> well, now that you've warned me, I will be, I'll be cautious. Let me move this though. Actually, I'm just going to move some stuff. You can still see that. <sighs> Garden had so many corpses when you ran by it. Really? Hmm. Why were people dying in here? Somewhere around here. Oh, there we go. <sighs> Are there plans to include in game maps or compass? Um, we really haven't discussed compass much at all. Um, in game maps, we've talked about the idea of there being static maps that you can acquire so it doesn't show your position or anything like that um there is a true north cell It's me, Katie says. Back in the day, we printed out maps and put the towns on ourselves. Yeah, see? Oh. Something may be broken in the build. Yeah, I wasn't sure which build was being referenced in... Uh, wasn't sure which which uh, build was being referenced in Slack. May just be everything at the moment. Hey, Vante. It's true. I remember me and my dad had ton of, a ton of printed maps for each zone. Rash Runs Call and Dark Age as well. Nice. What percentage of total zones would you say are implemented at this point? I can't even give you a percentage. Not very many. We're still... It's still early days. All right. I think something is borked. Let me go try something. Ooh. Physical map as a collector's item only. We want to make cloth maps and stuff at some point in the future just because they're cool. But they'd be in a merch shop. They wouldn't be like collector's item only. Can you scroll? 
can you scroll maps and sell can you scroll and sell maps you create exclamation mark using the harvested skin of gnomes you cut down i mean i guess in theory we could do that SC2, thank you for 12 months. Hey you, thank you for the follow. Let me see something really fast. Okay. What do I think about PvP? I think PvP can be fun. Trying to let me go out and fight something, see what happens. Oh, let me see if I just try to give this guy random. Alright, so giving giving items to NPCs is not working at the moment. Did I hear about how WoW Classic Hardcore servers will have duels with permakills? Um, no, I didn't hear that part of it. Do you guys have a rough idea of what you think the rule set would be if you were to implement PvP to the game? I think that's something we would wind up having to debate back and forth internally. Probably get your feedback from the community as well. Pudding says, I don't know if Robot realizes this, but I claimed my channel reward to PvP him in Eminem in a uh, roundabout way to force PvP being enabled in Eminem. I mean, I don't think we'd ever have a problem putting in uh, arenas and, and duel. The question becomes, do we have enough interest in a big enough player base to have a uh, PvP rule set server? Which, even if we've got mild interest, I think it'd be worthwhile. Worthwhile? Worthwhile. However you say that in English. Alright. Let's get beat up by a snake. Haslam, thank you for 18 months. Maze, thank you for 33 months, buddy. Oops, and I'm just targeting myself. That's not going very well. Oh, now I just targeted uh, Garden Adnan, and I'm not dead yet. I'm lagging. Yeah, something is up. Something is up with the build. <laughs> Quit hitting yourself, quit hitting yourself. Hit the guard instead. Hit the guard. Run all the way over to the guard and punch the guard. Should have just feigned death. Mortis, that was my big ass plan. My big ass plan was to run over there and hit feign death, not run over there and hit guard Adnan. Who murked me so hard that it took me 30 seconds to realize I was even dead. All right. I can't loot my corpse either. Oh man. Or did I? I didn't. And my corpse disappeared. Man, something not good is happening right now. I 
Oh man. I'm naked. But I'm not naked. I'm naked and I'm wearing my clothes. My corpse disappeared. Oh jeez. Zookin's here in a sexy outfit. Wearing his Michael Jordan underwear. Two pairs of claws. A lantern. Two hip pouches. And some shoulder pads. This is clearly the sign. And with that hair. With the shoulder pads, the hair, and like basically no clothes on. He, he looks like a character out of Mad Max. Oh, man. Zukin, are you wearing clothes on your end? Huh. Yeah, something's, something's weird here. Oh, uh, the new armor set's probably not in this build. Yeah. Let me try something in the background. Let me load up Unity again. First of all, let me see if there's anything I can pull. There isn't. Ooh. Ray Motion uh, asked, hello, I was looking for hardware specs needed for m, m What are you aiming at hardware wise? Um, we haven't started optimizing yet. And <clears throat> I don't think we're at a point where we know definitively. I think it's, but we, we jotted some notes down in our, we jotted some notes down in our, uh, what should we call it? Um, little starter guide that we put together. So let's see if we can uh, we can look that up for you because I'm I'm not able to think of it offhand. So what are we saying there? We said tech considerations. Um, we've got limited info on min specs at the moment since we're still optimizing. Um, 16 gigabytes of RAM is recommended. A modernish CPU. Any GPU or integrated GPU that supports DirectX 11 is what we're recommending at the moment. Chat is in a mood today? What? What do you mean? I'm not noticing any mood. Chat's being awesome today. I'm being sleepy. Why is, why is Zukin fighting guard Adnan? Bridgeman said, my potatoes seem to handle stress test fine from a hardware perspective. Only lag experience seem to be server side. Well, that's good. What, what are your specs? Yeah, something. There, there's just all sorts of weird stuff going on right now with this build.
Let's camp out. Bridsmith said they've got a i5 7500 with 16 gigabits and a GTX a 1063 gig. And it was running good uh, with the exception of with the exception of the server issues that we're seeing during the stress test. So uh, that's good. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to bring up YouTube. So we've got some background sounds. The best background sound around. Um, go to our channel. Go to playlists. Monsters in Memory soundtrack. Loop it. Um, after stress test, did you all finally select uh, which server set up your... Oh my god, my legs are so sore. Um, server setup we're going to go run with. I think Ali made some determination there, but I don't know. Like, I don't know what his determination was offhand. Um, did... Try to think. Was there any hint given in the update? There's a bunch of technical info in the update. This is too technical. Alright, well... But you're asking a technical question. So if I can't get in and play normally at the moment, which Zukin, are you playing in the editor or how are you playing right now? Bridgesmith said the only quality of life I was looking for in a stress test was lower mouse sensitivity. You guys defaulted to a quarter inch 360. Corpus also oh, also noticed it as well. All right. Um, yeah. I'm sure we'll eventually put a slider in. Uh, let me... I'm curious. Do we have that in our issues? Let me check our issues and see if there's mouse sensitivity. Mouse. Just gonna search for mouse. Inverted mouse option. That's in. Um. All right. Options. Mortis, Mortis, are you talking about like a uh, interact key? What was that? Was that, what was the interact key back in the day? Like E? e I remember there being like an interact key. Unless I'm making that up. All right, so I don't see I don't see a mouse sensitivity. There is a inverted mouse option issue that was open. I'll just tack it onto this ticket that's already there because I'm too lazy to make a new ticket. Can we also get a Mouse sensitivity. Can we get some mouse sensitivity training?
Oh my gosh. Even my throat's sore from getting cross-faced a dozen times earlier. We also get mouse sensitivity options in while you're looking at this. Comment. <clears throat> hey, Brown Butcher. Brown Butcher said, Hey, y'all, I stupidly scheduled a meeting for 2 p.m. Eastern. Better late than never. Oh, you're not that late. Ooh. I'm going to hit play one more time and then... See if I get the error again. Because I got an error on the way in earlier. That's why I switched to the... Uh, maybe it was just this character? Let me make a new character. Ah, fair point. Can I enter the world? Need proper capitalization. We do not allow for that type of capitalization, sir. What type of game do you think we are? So far, so good. Dude, my your tan is fierce. My real life tan? What? I made it in. I'm alive. Alive. I look more resin tan. That's probably true. No, I think that's my actual coloration right now. Uh, I think the white balance is probably the white balance is probably jacked in here. Uh, but yeah, like you can see my farmer's tan right now. Look at the difference. <laughs> Freaking. This is this is what this is what the sudden emergence of sun in Germany will do to you if you. <laughs> If you're out working on the farm, I really have been working on the farm. Um, I've been working in my garden. <laughs> Damn, you should have warned us to put on sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, my poor camera doesn't know what to do right now with the white balance. Game devs getting sun, times have changed. Um, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. I'm just, uh, I'm old and experienced in this arena so i actually i make time i make time i make the time to go outside and get the vitamin d oh shit with this mustache and this helmet and my eyes meeting in the middle here i am not to be contended with
I got like a, I could just picture myself with like a Wilford Brimley kind of voice. Let me see your village's manager. Who's the manager of this village? I'm here to pillage. What? I haven't noticed, I haven't done, noticed the Ashira's got some flappy action going on. Look at that. Look at that. Their business is flapping all... Oh, don't attack me. Oh, shit. Don't attack me. I was just looking at your business. Oh, God. I'm going to die now for looking at your business. That's what I get for... Not remembering that I'm actually not set up in GM mode with... Aggro turned off. Don't take my helmet. Don't take it. <laughs> Sheer freaking Hoover. Hoover. Monknado would be a good name. Well, you're a day late and a dollar short. You should have been here 15 minutes ago with that level of creativity. Avenge me, Holt. Avenge me. Avenge me. I would have lost experience if I had any. Don't touch the Ashira. The Ashira won't touch you. I wasn't touching. I was looking. Inappropriately. Need to make a loot all button? No. 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 It cheapens. It cheapens the experience. Right now you get the experience of interacting with each of your items. Why would we, why would we take that away from you? First, first we put in a loot all button. Then we put in some crazy 43 button combo auto loot system. Then I spend every single TLP wondering how the hell it works again. AOE loot. We should just make it so the loot pops out and it just bounces on the ground. And when you get near it, it sucks into you. Banty said, we died so much during stress tests, I spent more time looting my corpse than anything else. LOL. See, why would we want to deprive you of such a crucial activity? Think of all the content that you got out of that. Any chance for elves and assless chaps like EQ had missed more? Probably not. Gutabouting says the next you're forced to update since he heading to 200 for everyone by default. Yeah, it's slippery slopes. Got to watch out for them. Maybe, maybe add a skill looting. So after you skill up from looting your corpse a thousand times, you get enough, uh, you get enough skill points that you can get it up. Loot all. <laughs> Looting. AAs that allow advanced looting. Or that. You can also summon your corpse from further away. You can loot your corpse from further away. First thing any new character does is to die 1,000 times. To die 1,000 times to max looting. Z Flick, actually, what we would do though is have it be based off of deaths after level 20. Get this man a Frappuccino. It's just not going to work. Not going to work. I've got some cold ass decaffeinated coffee because it's, it's 8.52 my time. So if I'm smashing. If 
I'm smashing jolts or Red Bulls or whatever over here at 852, then sure, I won't be yawning at you guys the whole stream, but I also won't be sleeping. Hey, Adichie. I won't be sleeping and I'm old and I need my sleep. Maybe just a secret candy snack instead. I do have some extra candies in the other room. Helmet is looking pretty cool. Helmet is dope. Ponte Leon, we have not. We oh, I see a, I see a skeleton with an item, and it looks like a staff, so it's going to be worth the risk. Oh, it looks like I got to adjust my sound settings. Oh, nice. Out of, out of group healing. Boom. Looks cool, but it looks dangerous to wear. What would be the danger, Brown Butcher? How how would I injure myself on my current helmet? Boom. I did that on my own solo. No assistance. Crack staff. First item I looted. Crack staff. Rest of the game is all downhill from here. Do one jumping jack and you'll impale both of your shoulders. Oh, I could see you may have a point there. You may have a point. Grab something off the top shelf and you stab yourself. Yep. Also. That's two points. All right, you guys. You'll have two points. Oh, shit. You guys are on fire. It's apparently, it's earlier in the day for you guys. Ooh. So you need thick shoulder pads, Mortis says. What if what if I had cork? What if I had shoulder pads made out of cork and I do a jumping jack and I'm just stuck in that position from that point? You're all just quiet quitters. Horned helm with quirks on the tips. Yeah. Do you remember there was a there was a Steve Martin movie? Uh what was it called? Uh something. Have your squire remove the quirks before battle. Oh, that'd be amazing. Uh Uncork me, boy. <laughs> boy, come forth. Prepare my helm. Uncork me. Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. Orcs Knocker, that is the name of the movie I was thinking of. <laughs> Rupert, leave the cork on the fork. 
That was oh, cause that was oh, that was uh, was that Michael Caine? Michael Caine and Steve Martin. Nice. I feel like I, I haven't seen that kind of movie lately. Like, oh, interesting. It still shows me holding the staff. All right. Feel like I haven't seen that kind of movie. What? You are not currently trading with anyone. Yeah, there's a there's there's a interesting set of bugs floating around in our builds at the moment. Unclock me. That would be useful, uh, useful for when police arrest you and you need to put your hands up. What, stabbing yourself in both biceps? Like, don't come any closer, copper. I'm gonna do myself in. Bards should get horn hats with detachable horns they can play as an instrument. That is genius. See? That, that's the kind of idea where we don't even have to do much work around this place. All we do is the, we've got an entire team of, like our team's way bigger than you guys actually realize. We only, we've got the public facing team. And then we've got like a secret army of gnomes that live in the basement that they just transcribe everything you say in the streams. They just write those ideas down, they catalog them, they stack rank them. And then they feed them up to us and we're just like. And then when the game goes live and everybody's like, oh my gosh. That idea with the bard helmet, that is amazing. And we're just going to pretend like we didn't even know any of you guys. We're going to, right before we go live, we're going to delete all the VODs. We're going to block all of you. And we're going to bribe all the Redditors. <clears throat> Reminds me of the Luckland City with a uh, winding path going up the cliff ledge. Which one? Was there a cliff ledge in Charval? Clipped? Better not clip it here. We're going to get that deleted too. We know people. We know people in high places. Pretend you don't know me. You sound like my family. Oh, John. I'm so sorry. Rusty weapons. All right, Rusty. I've got this staff that I'm holding in my hand, but not really. Can I sell this to you? Nope. Slash. Real. Mmm. Swedish keyboard. Reload. You're going to send the Pinkertons to your house and destroy your computer with a baseball bat. See what happens, Larry. Uh, human-based city next to Twilight Sea. Was that Seru? Sancta Seru? Or was there Cata Castellum? There we go. Cata. Oh my gosh. Oh, a mess. Eyes watering. Hey, Shmonite. Oh, guys. Gals, friends. Um. So I'm probably going to stream again tomorrow night. So if this stream is just basically <sighs> me yawning for a couple hours and then bugging out, um, it's so I can get my rest. But I'm probably going to stream tomorrow as well because I'm going to be out of town Thursday. Is that okay? Do you guys, do you guys care?
Richard said, good morning, hero. I'm so grateful for your efforts and I hope to explore your world someday. Well, thank you for that. Were you able to make it into the stress test? Did you explore it a little bit previously? Sounds great, but you owe us. You left us hanging last week. Hey man, life calls. All right, I can't, I can't trade. All I can do, all I can do is kill stuff, I guess. Dr. Midnight, thank you for the prime sub. No, <laughs> that's not a good combination, babe. All right. Good luck. Have fun. Don't die. Don't mind anything I just said. Was not able to explore it all yet. Hope too soon. All right, chart. We we hope to get you guys back in here. I, I don't I don't want to speak out of turn, but we really enjoyed having you in here. So it'll it'll be fun for us to get another opportunity for that. So don't think don't think that we'll hold out unnecessarily. Ooh. Yeah, Vante, Vante Leon. Um, there were there were a lot of really big plans for um, for Luckland that just really didn't come to fruition. I think if that team would have had maybe twice as much time with with the pace that we were going, so it would have been twice as much crunch time, I guess. But they had twice as much time. Um, the uh the like actual vision for luckland could have been realized so while i'm in here i'm gonna stop playing because i can't transact um so things are a little buggy uh what i will do is oh actually let me go back i'll go back in and i want to go look at a couple things ball running around what wasn't realized in luckland um the the different people designing a lot of the areas uh I, I feel pretty comfortable saying that i think there was a desire to do a lot more content for each of those areas that's why um that's why seru wound up being kind of feeling a bit empty um a lot of the sort of the story of the the various factions didn't really come to full fruition. Uh, the conflict between the factions was kind of minimal. Um, there's just there was a lot going on there. If you, I don't know if you've if you've checked them out before, but I, I've done um, a series of interviews with with a number of the old designers and programmers and artists and stuff from. Uh, the EQ team and there is some reference to that Ooh. all right so let's go let's go look at something really quick oh Laggy in the editor at the moment.
Random question, do you still have any contacts with the EQ team that are active? Um, yeah. I mean, I I haven't contacted them really, but I still, I've got at least one or two contacts of people that, hell, I mean, I worked with Tom Toby. He's still on the team. Um, I worked with Alan Vancouvering. He's still on the team. Um... The people that I've met that uh, I've just met them, the current team members that I've met have been really cool. Oh, Brown Butcher, you're not aware of Project Lantern? Or Lantern Project? What? What? Yeah, they're doing real cool stuff. Speaking of which, let me make a note to myself to ping Wiz over there. Meaning to catch up. Richard said, uh, I follow those interviews, but not watch them exhaustively. How dare you not watch every single moment of them. Um, I can see more coming from the Sarah zone. I feel Schwa, Vexal, and the overall arc of Luckland was well delivered though. Oh, cool. Have I met anyone from the Eminem project? Um, in real life, nope. Should be meeting Roberts next month because he's going to be on tour with his band. Dude, I'm I'm looking forward to uh this thing getting textured. It's gonna be awesome. Hey promo spare. Oh, sorry for the sound the notification sound. What is that? What window? That sounded like a LinkedIn notification. Do I have a LinkedIn going on somewhere? don't where did it come from then i don't know man it's it seems like my most recent restart has reset a number of things Man, I gotta get caught up on the team streams. And this thing's coming together. Nice. It's so much fun working with the with, with all the team folks. It just, it seems like there's always some new stuff going on. Always something new to look at. Oh, promo spare. Be nice. Positivity, buddy. Oh, I almost got up there just then. Did you see that? Hey, Cypher. Wasn't there... Was it the Dwarven plate helmet for Velius that did kind of this kind of thing with the helmet? With the...
I'm not saying that's what it's modeled off of. I'm just saying I, I, was, I was trying to remember. Then there's always this beast. It's funny, rather than like search for like Deathbringer or whatever, because isn't that, I'm trying to remember the name of the painting. It's a Frazetta. It's like, I, I forget if it's Deathbringer or what, but I was like, uh, Molly Hatcha album cover. <laughs> Nineteen seventy three. See? When we say when we say we're inspired by uh album covers from the seventies and eighties. Using that as flirting with disaster though. Oh, I like it. Good catch. Ron Butcher said that helmet should have two meat uh, slots on it where you can st <laughs> stick like turkey legs on each horn. That would be badass. I was just waiting for somebody to say that ogres can stick gnomes on it. I know how you guys are. I almost missed this up here. Nice. Nice. Avante said, but really how much variance can you get out of helm shape and designs? You can get a fair bit of variance, but I think it's great for us to get uh, iconic looks, like some classic stuff as well, where you're like, ooh. That feels familiar. There is a comment above. Uh, I think it was right. Yep, right chart said, Still to this day, I learn and see new details in P99's North. Handcrafted worlds are special. Yeah, I mean... There's just so much, there's just tiny details that each person that worked on the project was able to squish in there. Um, and then with turnover on the team and things like that, you would have, uh, you would have whoever potentially did the, put the detail in, they may not be there anymore. Sometimes people like, if you watch an inter interview with Vu, there are a number of things where I could have sworn he said, I could have sworn he said that he put stuff in and it was just kind of like, just put it in and then forgot about it. And then as a designer, you're running around, you're like, oh, I wonder what this is meant for. And then you you realize that there was actually no specific intent. And so you can make up a new intent. Um, and that's that's really cool as well. So you enter at desert level, but then ascend these cliffs. Probably need to account for that in Shaded Dunes. Otherwise, geography makes no sense. Account for what? That you're going up? Keep in mind, all of the mountains that you see in Shaded Dunes are very placeholder. That's stuff that I made, Pattis, is, uh, Pattis made. So they're eventually going to change. Right. Right. I'm just going to call you right from now on. 
instead of Raya chart. Um, said that makes me think of the places in classic becoming dungeon entrances in Eldon. Yeah, well, a lot. I mean, we just kind of Eldon was very much a an expansion where we were trying to take some of that stuff that we had always heard about or saw on the map or got like a little bit of little bit of info on like Takashi's and just inserting it in a way like it, it's kind of like more because we were fans than anything. Thank you, Promo Spare. I will accept some amount of credit for that. That was the kind of stuff we talked a lot about on the team when we were setting it up. How ripping is this music right now? Can you even hear it? Barely. I'll turn it up. Yeah, this is the trainer music. Robert, Robert's so awesome. He's like, he's just kind of like, hey, you know, when you're, when you're hanging out your trainer, just listen to this badass, super ripping song. People are just going to be hanging out with their trainers. You should also make this tavern music. Um, if he doesn't make something even cooler for tavern music, it's Robert. Definitely in hanging at the merchant music too. Yep. Does this giant ladder work? up here. I get it now. Apologies for that notification sound. I honestly, I don't know where it's coming from. I just don't know, dog. Stream ruin. Start over. All right. Take two. Hi, everybody. Okay, I died. Okay, I didn't die. Fall damage is bugged. I don't know, man. I've been dying a lot lately. Fall damage hasn't been a joke to me lately. Oh, okay. It's feeling really nice in here, Pattis. Cool. 
Well, let me, let me. Right, Goblin? Coming together. Did you ever answer? I thought I had a question for... Who was it? One of the people I talk to in here regularly had a comment and then I had a question and I don't remember an answer. UK rats. Did UK rats ever respond? Scrolling, scrolling. Nope, never responded. <laughs> yeah, Pattis, it's this is this is looking good. I'm excited. I'm excited for textures. This is fun. Want to zone over to? Night Harbor Fields. Night Harbor Fields forever. Ooh, I should have stayed in there and played around with time of day. You're right. Yeah, so UK Reds, the plan is for us to finish building out Telekir and then look at what uh, we end up doing with regards to the degree of elevation, how much... Have you seen Have you seen some of Goblin's concepts related to the zone? I'm assuming they've been shown. So anyway, there's... Uh, So basically, once we get once we get Telekir, the zone that we're in, uh, once we get that kind of figured out, then we're gonna go back into Shaded Dunes and figure out what the sight lines are, etc. Does it make sense? Promos Bear said, "Robot, was there a conscious decision on why Desert was the first biome for Eminem?" Yes. Way back in the day. You're welcome, UK Rats. Way back in the day, we were sitting around. Sitting around the campfire. And... We thought, you know what? People never complain about the color brown in games, ever. So our safest bet would probably be... To start with as much, like... Beige and brown as possible. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? We're going to get zero negative response if we just stick with that approach. Then we're like, you know what? No, and let's not just screw around with it. Let's not just do one zone or maybe two zones with some beige and brown in it. Let's do an entire region. That way we can stay safe for as long as possible. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'm definitely down to. Definitely down to show Goblin. Okay. I wish it was an easy way to do. Because I want to I wanna show this, but I don't want to. And I wish it was easier for. Hmm. All right, what we're going to do is this. Open. Browser. We're just going to do this. Now, in all seriousness, 
in all seriousness, um, make this browner. Yeah. <laughs> That's just me sitting around the campfire before there is a campfire, as Pat has said. Can we make a browner? <laughs> oh. Browner. And then Brown Butcher appeared. Um. No, uh. Honestly. Part of it was. There was a. There was. There's a guy that did some, like. Did some re envisioning of old zones. Um, he did like a modern take on those zones. I think they're they're linked in P99's uh in in the P99 wiki, I think there's like a there's a link to it or whatever. Um I actually spoke with the guy on LinkedIn. He's a he's a industry artist doing like I think like commercials or animation or maybe games. Um, and it was, he did like these, uh, redos of free port and high keep and a number of things. They just were badass and we were looking at them on stream and all that. And so that was an inspiration here. I'll find it. I'll find the inspirations The the reason why we wound up doing desert, to be honest, one, uh, there's less foliage and shit. So it's easier to, uh, it's easier to pull it off, right? Uh, so, you know, snow, arctic, not enough brown, um, desert, plenty of beige, and not uh, not a lot of trees and shit. Um, so, P. Let me see if I can find those images, and then I'm gonna find the other images. Random page. No. Let me find... Let me find this thing I was just referencing first. Damn. I've got it. I've got it in a folder, I'm pretty certain. So let me go. Pictures. Project in. Inspiration. Sorry, I'm digging around right now. Now I really, really want to find the these images. The guy, Todd's work? I think that's him. Uh, Todd... I think it's like Krupp or Knup, something like that. But you know who I'm talking about now. Kumpf, Kumpf, yeah. So, ah, okay, cool. Fan art and creative works. Let me go back in there and find it. Yeah, so seeing some of these images, and it's funny, I actually showed these images um, uh, back in the day, we were talking to Kevin, um, Kevin Burns, and he did these zones. I was like, hey man, check out like this fan art for the zones. He was like, what? 
he was blown away. He was like, that's what, it's kind of like, that's what I was picturing, right? And so that was that, that kind of that idea of like, oh, uh, what were they actually picturing when they made the stuff that they made, right? Like, um, so anyways, this was a, this was an inspiration, just kind of seeing this reimagining. Um, that was like, oh man, that's really cool. This was before we started working on anything. Um, and so it's like, oh man, that's, that's really cool. And then there was, um, so it was like looking, looking at that and then And then images like this, where it's like, oh shit, you know, like, look at the richness of the colors. And again, just little details doing a lot. And look at this character, you know, the characters pop against the background. Um, and so there was a lot of inspiration, you know, from a few sources that had us just thinking. And at the time, you know, remember it was, it was Ali, Bunny, Nick, and me. Um, and, you know, we were just looking at a lot of different inspiration. And at the time, we didn't have artists on the team. So it was easy enough for me to get in and just block something out in, in Blender. And Ali made the sand texture and boom. There we go. There we go. Reminds you Conan the Barbarian is coming off Netflix in early June. Oh, I wonder if Jasmine's seen that before. We should probably check it out. So, yeah. Uh, what about environmental effects? We talked about darkness thing. What about sandstorms? We had a uh, sandstorm prototype in. Um, Ollie, Ollie just needs time to work on it some more. So... Oops, let me do this a different way. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to do this a different way. I'm just going to I'm actually, you know, you'll be able to No, actually I can't do that cuz you'll you'll see something you're not allowed to see. Shit. All right, let me just let me bite the bullet. Open browser. Move that to here. Um, so UK Reds, this is kind of what we're talking about. Is like once we see the background here, we'll have a we'll have a better idea of how much what we're gonna show. Um, open browser. Open browser. Open browser. Open browser. Open browser. Open browser. Open. Also, and one last time. Cool. All right, so you can see. Oh, show you some of the concept art that we were being you or that we'll be using in this zone that I was just in. Freaking goblins. So yeah, there, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on in this zone. It's going to be fun for you guys to uh, explore it. I've really got to really gotta sit down uh, while I'm on this trip. This the Basically, last half of the week, I'm going to be in Cologne, but I'm taking my laptop. I've got to write a bunch of stuff down. <clears throat> yeah so a lot going on back there it's gonna be fun I got the feeling I'm not really honestly zoning I think it's lying to me 
Let's see if I can get back in. Oh, one last one that I missed. Man, this month's update's gonna be dense with beautiful images. Uh, Tomovan, a couple of people that I've had on um, the stream for interviews have, have talked about it a little bit. I think they just, they wanted to do a lot more there and uh, they just didn't have the chance. Yeah, it works knocker. I think I think that's the general consensus. I don't think it's working. Gross. Yeah, I think I think there was some. They mentioned something about not being able to edit those files anymore. I I honestly don't know. I I, I don't understand why fully. Um. legacy code yeah well i mean there was there was our there were, when i was there and that was only a couple years basically into it there was already a problem with like missing files you gotta understand back in the day there, there wasn't there wasn't like the sort of modern understanding of source control or any of that shit it seemed like people just had Artists had files in their random, like, network drives. It was, uh, it was pretty wild. Cool. Actually, I want to look at this behind the scenes secret stuff over on, on this monitor where you can see it as well. Can I do that? I guess I can just download it. All right. Robert Martin was probably inspired by EQ to write clean code. Wouldn't that be something? There's like a forward. All right, Pattis. Even, even if I'm not supposed to be showing this yet, I just wanted to look at it. I didn't want to wait. 
and it's easier for me to look at it on this monitor. How hard was it to set up, Pattis? I wasn't I wasn't reading the thread uh, while you're or prior to you doing it or whatever. Is it just a matter of is it just a matter of setting up the volumes and then um, having parameters change? Just based based on you being in the volume, or so, our other environment artist Simon is working on Sungreet Strand, also known as Night Harbor Fields, and so there'll be some. I was I was wanting to zone over here and, and run over and check it out, uh, but unfortunately I could not make it over. My character got stuck. So you can see these these towers along the path in the distance. Um, Pat has said, yeah, the post-processing blends as you get deeper into the volume um, now and turns off in, uh, turns off the indirect lighting. Nice. This will be another one that we got to look at with Simon and look at the actual elevation of the hills here um, to pull off what he's what he's looking to do probably have an elevation increase. Pattis said, also turns up the AO to gather more shadows in the corners. I need to get the fog under control now. Nice. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. I missed it before. Or, no, actually, I didn't miss it. Uh, it's hidden behind this. Fluff Fluffus, thank you for the follow. Snucker said, oh my gosh, I am beat up. 
Are the races of the worlds going to be broken down into good, evil? I.e. Ogre can't go to human town. Probably been said, but will the majority of Eminem require a full group? Any plans on raid zones? Oh, sorry. Both names were green, so I just kept reading right into it. Separate questions. Orc Snocker, the... Um... What's up, buddy? Oh, man. Get up here. Um... The there will be um, a number of factions for many of the races. There will be more than one way to play them. So depending on what factions you're aligned with uh, will determine the initial feel and sort of the uh, whether or not uh, you're playing as like a good or an evil. There will be like the deep elves will be just that one will be obvious. Uh, ogres will be a little more interesting. They they vary. Um, our ogres will kind of span the spectrum in how they can be played. And then you've got some races that are kind of weird, like deep deep gnomes aren't necessarily evil, not really good either. They they just kind of they've got their own outlook, so. Uh, worldviews will definitely they'll, they'll vary and they will impact gameplay um, the let's see uh, the question on will the majority of Eminem require a full group uh, the majority of Eminem will require a group but there will be there will still be ways to play in, in advance it just may be suboptimal or you may not be able to access certain um, drops or whatever unless you've got some more people with you um will there any plans for raid zones um the the sort of rise of of uh multi-group contents inevitable um we're just we'll be looking at a way to make it so that it doesn't feel like it's a separate game Um, deep elves going to be evil because they look at, yeah, they're, they're not going to be the nicest, but you'll be able to, I mean, you'll be able to put in the effort and do some faction work and, and have your little dritz fantasy opportunities as well. Ugh. I mean, so essentially, we want to be able to provide. We want to be able to provide significant racial distinction. We want them to have their own worldviews, and we want to, you know, many of the the races have uh, interfactional conflict, right? So you may have something like the high elves that that have a fairly strong worldview and then you'll find that there are certain elements within the high elf uh you know society that disagrees with elements of that worldview so that we've got some internal conflict and some uh range for you to be able to play with um the <clears throat> the the goal is to create those distinctions and have faction feel meaningful and have the world you know, not just be available. Everything shouldn't be available for everybody. Um, a, a lot of us like to play with faction and grind faction and discover new ways to play our characters. So that's going to be a focus. Um, but we, we do want to allow for, as part of that, you know, we want to allow for player agency. And if you want to be that, you know, random random character that shouldn't typically be able to access a an area but can if you do enough faction work um if that's if that's the kind of gameplay you enjoy then we want to facilitate that jezebelly i'm sorry to hear that 
said, I need some soothing MMO dev stream right now. Got into a bike accident, fractured five ribs and my scapula. A lot of pain. Oh man. And ribs, ribs suck too because you just basically got to wait it out. I've been unable to sleep on my right side for, I think last night I was able to get some sleep on this side. Um, I can't show it because if I show my farmer's hand, all you're going to see is blinding white light like I did earlier. But so basically my, my coloration right now is like brown, red, sun, neck, white everywhere else, except for right here, uh, where my collarbone is and all the way down to my chest is purple and yellow because on thursday when i was sparring in jujitsu i i somehow managed like on the first guy i was sparring with managed to like post up on my shoulder blade and kind of push and was gonna like basically shrimp out from under this big old german boy and i felt my i felt my arm kind of like suction out of my socket and, but it popped right back in like immediately and uh, and it just pluck, it just bruised after that I had to power through a couple more rounds <laughs> it, it does it doesn't sound as painful as five broken ribs you're you're definitely <laughs> hate to tell you you're you're in more pain than I I was but yeah so just uh, but uh, got in today um, went back in and sparring no problem wasn't that bad uh so i'm healing pretty quickly for my old age but yeah it sucks like i i feel for you already the whole like sleeping and all that such a nightmare when you've got an injury like that um do we plan on capping the amount of groups like modern mmos or leave it pretty large cap uh, i mean it's it's difficult to cap unless you do certain things right we don't want to instance but yeah, we'll be playing with it more. That'll be, it'll be a great topic for later on in our process. I'm sure we'll be talking about it a bunch and looking at different things. Come back to Volcano Bay and even it all out. <laughs> That's true. We wouldn't mind, trust me. You could get us some free drinks. Um. Yeah, so work still going on here. Ugh. What does Super Monster 64 do, Pattis? Should I be asking that off stream? Roth X, have you never seen this sound before? There's a there's a scene in here called Super Monster 64. Is that like some Ollie fun time project that just like snuck its way in? So basically it is it is the zone up there, Gothic. Weird how you've never seen Pattis and Super Monster 64 in the same room at the same time. It's a revelation. So Jezebelli, other than that, are you are you okay? How did your biking accident happen? Did someone hit you or did you just fall over? Yeah. 
can can you kindly speed up and release this game mid summer 2023 so I can play? I mean, if there was a magic button, we'd push it. Nick, loyal subscriber for 36 months. That is three years, if I'm not mistaken. Goth, you should you should uh, consider rolling on P99 Green, or what everybody should do is basically petition the P99 guys and get a new server, get a new server up, get a new server up. By the time they get it up, you'll be tired of Zelda. You'll be ready. We can all run in there and we'll play together. All you got to do is petition them. Just bug the shit out of them. Yeah, it would, it would be it would be um it would be amazing. Trust me, the team would love for the game to be out as well. Well, I think that the team thinks they would love for the game to be out as well. We would absolutely love for people to be playing the game. But the one of the challenges with MMOs is once they come out, then you've got all the same amount of work that you had before the game came out. But now you're under non-stop time pressure and there's all the live issues going on as well while you're trying to create new shit so that's a thing um just belly said yeah i'm doing okay there is a one inch differential between the shoulder and asphalt that my tire clipped just right and dumped my bike i landed directly on my side oh man you know what, as, as much as that sucks, and it's going to suck for a little while, and I feel for you, um, and I'll be, I'll be keeping you in my thoughts to heal as quickly as possible, it could have been worse. At least you didn't land on your face, didn't go straight chin, you broke some ribs, better than breaking a neck, so... In less than a year, AI will gain sentience and he can just hire Skynet GPT to finish the game for us. Well, no, actually what happened is AI went sentient like a thousand years ago and we're just stuck in a simulation and the AI is just screwing with you. We'll be, we'll be in here for a hundred years looking at shaded dunes just because the AI wants to torture you. This simulation sucks. <laughs> I want a different simulation. Been playing ESO for a week and you're already bored? Looking for a new MMO to play on stream right now with no luck? I'm telling you guys. New P99 green. If... If we found out this was all simulation, I think I'd be okay with it. If I found out everything is a simulation, I'd be okay with it as well. There's no new one out. I know you gotta you gotta ask them to make a new one. P ninety nine brown, make it browner. Oh my gosh, that would be fun. Every zone is Oasis. P99 Oasis. All right. So, Jezebeli, I've got bad news for you. You were excited to come in here because there's a development stream going on. But it is 10 p.m. my time, and I, I, really, need, I, I really need to go to the bathroom. So, yeah, I know. There's always the VOD. 
But today has been a long day for me. I'm still, my body's still acclimating to going back to jujitsu. So I'm ready to just immediately go upstairs. I'm completely out of CBD oil. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to power through it and sleep and sleep and sleep. But uh, I'll stream again tomorrow because I failed to stream on Thursday last week, right? Wasn't that it? And then um, I'm going to be out of town this Thursday. So I'll stream tomorrow evening. Um, Jasmine only works half day, so we'll get dinner done earlier. So I might even be on earlier and we can run a little bit later. Um, and if the, if things are working, then I'll actually be able to play. So we'll see how much of all of that we can get done by tomorrow's stream. Um, but it's been cool hanging out with you guys either way. Sorry that things weren't working, but you know how it be. Chaz Solo, see ya. Rev Chumley, see you tomorrow. Aramisk, you are very welcome. Thank you for being here. Jezebeli, I'm glad you, I appreciate you understanding. I hope you, I hope you get some good rest. Again, bummer to hear about your wreck. Um, Vante, see you. I'll see you in Discord. <laughs> Um, John, you did, you did, you missed it all. Um, Chinny D, see you. Uh, Chinny D, were you the one that recommended that I look into, um, look into the developer stuff? Anyways, I went into, I looked at Twitch. I was looking at like how to get us flagged for developer accounts in Twitch and I got confused, but I was looking at that earlier. I have to look again. Shmonite, thank you as well. I will see you. Gwathex, thank you for that. Magnamar, you take care as well. See you, John. See you, UK Rads. Promos Bear. Where's Knocker? Man, my posture is really weird right now. Oh, shit. That's probably not, that's not helping. Bad posture isn't helping. Cristo, yo, I'm out of here. You're coming in right at the tail end of everything. Come back tomorrow. Um, I was about to say same time, but actually two hours earlier. Chronos Zero, see you. Okay, guys, I am out of here. I really got to go to the bathroom. Bye-bye. Bye, D.